LeadSquad lets you create compelling landing pages to capture and convert more leads. Our landing pages are responsive, which means that they render perfectly on almost all devices and require minimal resizing, panning, or scrolling. What's more, you'll get comprehensive reports and feedback on how your landing pages are performing. Click the Create Landing Page button to get started. Give your landing page a name and add a marketing tag like Christmas offer, spring sale, etc. We recommend you use the responsive templates option, but you can also bring your own HTML or copy from a previously created landing page. We've created some industry specific templates you can preview and use to get started. But for the purposes of this video, we'll be using a blank template. The first thing you need to understand is what sections and blocks are. Sections are areas where you can add one or more blocks. Blocks contain your actual content, like features, forms, pictures, call to action buttons, videos, and even customer testimonials. All blocks and sections are contained inside the canvas. Click outside the sections to select the canvas. This panel on your right lets you control the properties of the canvas or a selected section or block. You can select different background types and change the color to something that matches your company's color scheme. If you're familiar with CSS, use the advanced CSS option. You can also use the style editor to use your own custom style sheet. To help you understand the elements better, let's remove all the default sections and start from scratch. First, let's add an image block. You can change the layout of the caption and image here. Add the image by double clicking here. You can add an image you've already uploaded to LeadSquared or upload a new one. You can even link the image back to your website. Now let's increase the width of this block so we can center it. Let's add another section. Navigate to the background option on the properties panel and select the image option. We're setting this image as the background for the section. Now let's resize the section and then increase its height to match the image size. It's good practice to keep previewing your landing page. You can see what it looks like on desktop, tablet and mobile. Now let's add a content block for our headline. Double click on the block to open the HTML editor. You can choose from a wide range of formatting options like font types, sizes, alignment, etc. If you're making the font color white, you can click the editor background button so the text remains visible. You can add a subheading the same way. To make sure your content is always well spaced out, use the dimension and spacing options. The padding option will help you separate content that's sticking too close. Now for the most critical landing page element, the form. Click the form block option. You can customize your form by adjusting a variety of form properties. Here I'm going to edit the color of the form and use the transparency slider to make the form more transparent. Double click on the form to open the form designer. Here you can add and remove all the fields you want. You can even add a custom field on the go and insert it in your form. For better readability, we'll be placing the field labels inside rather than on top. And don't forget to customize the button to match the rest of your page. You can also customize the footer text, but we're just going to leave it blank for now. Now let's add another section and a feature block. You can select a template for your feature block and then add your own text and images. 
And finally, let's create a section to add a customer testimonial box. Again, you can choose a suitable template, customize the text and even add pictures. Now let's preview the landing page one last time and click next to move on to the next step of the process. Here you can decide what happens when a visitor submits on your landing page. There are three options you can choose from. Either you can display a thank you message, you can direct the visitor to another URL, or you can allow them to download a document. Regardless of which option you choose, you'll get a set of handy customization options, like sending an autorespond email to the visitor's email, sending a notification to the marketer, assigning the lead to a particular lead squared user, adding the lead to a list, and so on. Click next to proceed to the page and SEO settings. You can choose how you want the title of the page to appear on the browser. You can alter the URL and enter meta keywords and descriptions you want displayed in the results of any search engine. Finally, you can configure the SEO behavior by allowing the page to be indexed by search engines and also embed JavaScript in the landing page code. This is helpful if you want to embed any analytic scripts in your landing page. Click next to move on to the summary. Confirm all details related to the previous steps. You can even send the summary for review to your peers. When you're ready, click publish. You'll see the URLs you can use to access your page. From here, you can either go back to the list of landing pages or to the landing page report. The report gives you key insights into how your page is performing. You can track visits, the conversion rate, submissions, and unique leads. You can also see the list of leads who've submitted on your page. So that's how you set up and review LeadSquared landing pages. Give it a shot and reach out to us if you have any questions.